How you doing? This is Sean Friedman, UnbelievableBeats.com. Wanted to give a tutorial on how to use Redrum with FL Studio. The two main questions that come up are how to split up the mixer tracks for each channel in Reason and where to find the damn Reason sounds. So. Here's my Redrum channel, and this is in rewire mode. For those that don't know what rewiring is, I'll give it to you in 20 seconds. You need a Reason channel, which is a rewire channel. You get it from the channels menu. It's called rewire, and that's to use Reason. And then you just launch it from here. That's the program, and you have one MIDI out channel and the channel number is right here goes up to 16 channels and you match that up to this which is reason and anyways that was a quick little tutorial on how to rewire uh, see all you need is this hardware device it says rewire slave mode and you got your redrum so anyways back to this tutorial about redrum set up my redrum and if you notice on redrum there's 10 different channels. Let me see if I can play with my keyboard. Um, if I'm on redrum. Oh, yeah, it goes. And you see, and here's where to find them. Here you see uh, FL Studio defaults on C5. Nothing's there. C4. Yeah, C3 is actually the first one. So you have to just go down on the keyboard a little bit. Here they are. So that's where to get them. And as far as the piano roll as well. Here's a sequence I made. And then these can all get separated onto their own FL Studio mixer tracks. staticky yeah I can fix the all right and that was the loop plan and then on the FL studio mixer see these correspond to the back of these so number five here is the kick drum but notice I started you have to start with number three on these wires one goes to three Two goes to four, three, five, and four, six. Just go go up one at a time through each one, starting at number three. Because number three actually ends up number one. That's how it works with redrum. And all rewiring channels work that way. So here's the ten. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All those are the redrum channels which correspond to these ten. One, two, and you can see it, it'll be hit. You can see here's the mixer. Now you can see everything. One, see that's actually channel one hi hat. There it goes. Here's two, which is two, three, four, five, kick drum. I got some compression on there. Six, I said high kick. Seven is another kick, another kick, another kick, another clap. Wow, there's a lot of kicks in there. Anyways, that's it. And... pretty much it so you have control over on all these Let's see I put some uh, reverb on there here's a clap I got this reverb right here see that you hear that clap had to hear that How about a cathedral 
and that's you know the reverb from FL Studio and you got this EQ right here a little tip and trick these three right here are pretty slick you want to give it some high end or remove some of the low see how I removed the low end on the hi-hat see on that clap if I get rid of it yeah gave it some more air I'll give it a little bit so that's pretty handy to use once you have it split up on these mixer tracks for just you know low mid and high this little EQ algorithm they have at the front of the mixer alright hope you enjoyed this tutorial and good luck with your projects